not just anything. We go back to Jesus when, when you met with your disciples in that upper room and you instituted what we call the Lord's Supper. And so tonight we pray that Holy Spirit, you'll take charge of this evening. Yes. Everything from the video through the worship to the sharing will bring such glory to you and such honor. Lord, I pray for people that are on their way here that you'll bring them safely and that they'll all arrive here without any difficulty. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated and we're going to start with the video. Yeah. 
what you do to the most of your own cross. The one to the left, to the left. And put a spear in your side. Shall we with you? No, She's not here. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. Or did you prepare something about the cross? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well then, Zach, can you find your way out of there? Mess <laughs> every once in a while. church, you know, being taught from a little boy, what the cross means, what it represents, you get the fundamentals, you get, uh, you get the definition and what it means, the symbolisms, but as you grow up, it starts to impact you more the more you reflect on it, Amen. and just like the video portrayed, you know, the concept of being forgiven for your sins it is huge, because we fail every day, amen. And to, to think that one man, God himself, is the one who came and died for us because he loved us so much. It, it's, it's hard to grasp, it's hard to fathom a love that great. Yet he did. And it's because of him that we can stand here today. And so just reflecting on that and, and on the cross itself and what he had to go through. It's like, I, I try to sit there and imagine what that would feel like, you know? We get movies and videos that, that give us a small portrayal of what it goes through, and you, you cringe to see some of what Jesus had to go through. But I can't personally feel that. It didn't happen to me. But it happened to him. But I can feel every time I get cut, I get bruised or hurt, it's a small, you know, little insignificant pain. And he bore so much because he loved us so much. Um, it's so impactful that, I mean, I, I sometimes feel saddened that I don't reflect on the cross as much as I should because of what it means, what it stands for. And as I was re uh, reading the word and, and getting into it, um, something that's been standing out to me over these past few weeks and even leading up to now is actually about Jesus and his example. 
because all throughout scripture in his life, he was just constantly showing us examples of how we should live, how we should love, his obedience, his sacrifice. And um, I think it was in Matthew, when he's predicting what yes. he will have to go through, and he's telling his disciples this. You know, he mentions to them, if anyone wants to come after me, let them deny themselves, take up their cross and follow me. And that just kept coming back to me over and over again. And not that we could merit or or do anything to deserve, you know, the blessed gift that he's given us. But the point of view that was standing out to me is, you've done so much for me, of which I am unworthy. I just want to honor you. And he's, his words stood out to me, you know, deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. The example that he left us in his sacrifice for us through love and his obedience to God, it impacted so many even till this day. Just that one act. How much could our acts of self-denial and of obedience to God, yeah. how many people can we impact just by loving God yeah. just that much? Sure. It's not an easy thing because to tell the disciples at that time to pick up your cross and follow me was basically saying, follow me along to a death sentence. And it was humiliating, very difficult for them. But his love was that great. God's love is that great for us. And those words and, and just that idea and that imagery just kept standing out to me and all for love. All to just honor the one who has given me life. Yeah, and just really. the little sacrifices that we go through in obedience has such a great reward. And, you know, that's just what stood out to me and hopefully it it, it, uh, it blesses you and that we can reflect on at the very least of that greatness that he did for us and how we can honor him. Not that we'd ever uh, reach any level or attain any anything to merit that at all. But just for love. <clears throat> just for love. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the awesome worship, John. Yes. That's, uh, that's one of the reasons why when he asked me to speak about what the cross means to me, it's like, how can I even put it into words? You know, the cross to me is, means everything. It means life. It's, it means surrender. It means love. And every time, and just, just me personally, this is why I, this is ground zero for me. The cross is ground zero. Anytime that I'm having a struggle or anytime that I'm leading worship anywhere, I bring myself back to the cross. Because that is what helps me remember of what He did. He gave everything. Everything. Everything was poured out on this piece of wood. Yeah, really. Amen. Everything. I remember actually going to Israel back in 2000. And we actually, I, I talked to my wife and Vincenzo this morning about it. And when we visited Golgotha, it's called the place of the skull. And if you look at the the mountain, it's called Golgotha, it actually looks like a skull. The shape of the, the, the rocks and everything. And when I was there at that spot, everybody's taking pictures and, you know, doing selfies. And I'm like, I just stood there just in awe. Uh, it was all loud around me. And there's a bus station right there. Yeah. There's a bus station that's centered right there at Golgotha where our Savior, the Savior of the world was crucified. And so, you know, all the distractions were there. <laughs> and
and I was just fixed on the top of the mountain. And I began to weep and I began to cry because I, I felt such an overwhelming <coughs> mess of... I couldn't even explain it. It was because I saw the place where my Savior, my God, my King took the weight of our sins. Amen. The sins of the world were brought down, defeated at this spot right here. And I just began to weep and weep and weep. And all I wanted to do is just worship Him. It just compelled me to worship and not just with a guitar. I'm talking worship as far as just with my words and with my praise and with my everything. Yes. Yeah. This, this piece of wood is my life. It's where I turn to. Right. It's Hallelujah. what I... He's shown me everything right here. Of who he is. You know, when he was beaten, mocked, his flesh torn apart. They say they say that he was not even recognizable. Yes. By the time he was done, by the time they were done beating him with the stripes, one more stripe, they say he could it could have killed him. And they say he was re unrecognizable, carrying the cross. Imagine, and I walked, I walked the, the uh, what do they call it, Via Della Rosa? Mm -hmm. It's all like little shops now. Yeah. And you walk and you know, people are just trying to sell you something. But I'm just, man, when I was there, and I, I, I recommend everybody going there at some point in their life. Amen. Yeah. Because... Even though it's like commercialized or whatever, I feel <coughs> such a presence there. He's there. And walking the footsteps. And I was just so focused. And I'm like, God, I want to feel you. I want to walk where you walk. I want to talk like you talk. I want to think like you think. What does the cross mean to me? More than a trinket. He's surrender. Surrender. Really? What does that mean? Would you have... I, I ask myself, John, would you have done that? Would you have done that for the world? Honestly? No. Nope. There is no way I, mean, I would have gone through that. But he did. If he gave his life for me... For me, and if I was the only human being on this planet, he would have done it. Amen. Amen. He would have gone through that whole torture just for me. When he, when they put the the crown of thorns on his head, that's when he became my king. I love that song. With a crown of thorns, you became my king forever. Amen. Yeah, you just crowned my king. You just showed me who I give my life to, who I worship. So I, I encourage you guys. I also try to watch The Passion. I know it's a hard movie to watch. As close as you're going to get. But I like to watch it every now and then because it reminds me of what he did for me. And that's, I'm sorry, but that is the best depiction yeah. out of any movie out there. That's right. It's come close to what he actually went through. Close. And even saying that, that wasn't even close. Yes. So... Whenever you worship, whenever you pray, that is ground zero for me. I always go back to ground zero. Run to the cross. I run to the cross. When I'm having a bad day, when I'm, 
I feel threatened or sick. Or I feel overwhelmed. Guess where I run to? Hallelujah. And it's not just that piece of wood. I don't worship a piece of wood. That's it. It was a tool. But he's shown the world three nails, and I saw the nails. When I went to Israel, they had the replicas of the, the, the nails. Yep. Let me tell you, they're not these little nails. They're about yeah. about that, that long, about that thick. And he did it for me. Hallelujah. He did it for me and you. Yes, Lord. And he did it for the generation be before us. And he did it for the generation after us. Each and every person. And it's showing us his love for hum humanity and mankind and every person. I want to love like he loves. You know, it's hard to love. Why is it so hard to love? The devil Why is it? He was showing <sighs> us. That's how you love. Thank you, God. Thank, thank you for you, sending you, your only you. son, yes, God, to the world for Hallelujah. us. To redeem us. Yes, yes. And call us your own. To, you picked us up from the miry clay and set our feet upon the rock now which we stand upon. Thank you, Jesus. You are our king forever and, and ever. And we will reign with you in heaven. Hallelujah. Forever and ever, God. Thank you for the cross. Yeah. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Hallelujah. The price you paid for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Is there any other, anybody that would like to share? So the cross, what the cross means to me, well, the cross, well, when I see the cross, I think of, I think of when Jesus and how he, he saved all of our lives, I think of the cross, when I see the cross, I think of the cross as a symbol of how, how what he went through, and when he was beaten up and whipped, that we have so much to be thankful for. Amen. So that when we see the cross, we should always remember what God has done for us, yeah. and why yeah. we live and stand here to this day. And so, when we look at the cross, when I look at the cross. And what it personally means to me, I would say how God always, that God loves us, that God loved us so much and still does so much that he would, that he came, he came here on earth to be, to, to, to die for us and to suffer all this pain just, just for us and that. Like and he, 